Hey, it's Ken Gagne's YouTube channel Game Bits here to unbox the Indie Box. This is a monthly box of a surprise indie game with all sorts of goodies and peripherals you can't get from anywhere else. I signed up on the IndieBox.com, 60 bucks for three months. This is the second box I've received from May 2015, and I'm about to find out what's inside the box. It is a nondescript packaging that I just slip right open and it slides right open, and I have no idea what this is going to be. Lovely Planet. Get rid of the box there. Lovely Planet. I have no idea what this is. I've never heard of this game, which is one of the great things about Indie Box is it exposes you to games that you have not encountered before or that you may not otherwise experience. I have very specific genres and developers I enjoy, and this game is not one of them, so I might have a new genre or developer to enjoy after receiving this. So let's find out what it is. With boost, sorry, with boots of speed on your feet, an infinite supply of bullets for your semi-automatic and the ability to jump over twice your own height, you're well equipped to go up against any enemy on your quest. You'll find yourself trying to balance between jumping around, dodging bullets, and taking aim for a better shot at your enemies. The gameplay, should you choose to play a particular style, doesn't involve camping at cover spots and waiting for enemies to pop out. Defeat the baddies and avoid the onslaught of bullets to get to the next stage. Perhaps it's a kind of play not suited for a 3D first-person shooter game, but Lovely Planet hopes to translate the old formula into a version of its own anyway. Single player, achievements, soundtrack, stats, and death apples. Okay. Now, I am a Mac user, and all games available from the Indie Box are for Mac or PC. They do ask you which game or system you have before you sign up, and I'm pretty sure they don't do console games, so it's all going to be either PC, Mac, or Linux. But there's more to it than just what you see. Let's open up this box and find out what's inside, because you're thinking, Wait, a Steam game? Well, there's the Steam code right there. Why do they need to put it on a big box like this? And don't try redeeming that Steam code. Obviously, I've redeemed it before I even uploaded this video. But thanks. Well, there's a lot of stuff inside this box that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else. Every month, the Indie Box, which is about a year old program, partners with a different indie game developer to create all of these special exclusives that you can't find anywhere else. So here I have one of those blocks that the game description I was talking about. There's another one. Uh, they don't really have sides on them, so they're not dice per se. Let's see what else we have. Quite a bit of stuff. Chopsticks. Lovely Planet Chopsticks. I have never been able to master using these even after watching the tutorial on Kung Fu Panda DVD. I think I've successfully eaten all of one meal in my life of chopsticks, otherwise I just cheat and ask for silverware. But hey, now I have my own pair of chopsticks with which to practice. I have a lovely planet thingamabob. Looks like perhaps a uh, beach balloon, given the inflator right there. Ah, it's got that new beach ball smell. <sighs> lovely planet. What else do we have here? We have some Instruction manuals. Now, as I've mentioned, that this is the way we used to do things when I was a kid. Games would actually come with manuals that would show off the game's story, controls, maybe even some art and strategy. And again, you can't find this anywhere else. This is unique, exclusive to the Indie Box. Speaking of which, here is the Indie Box newsletter that lists everything you can find in this month's Indie Box. So if you don't know what something is, take a look. It's in a book. Yay. And wait, there's more. Let's see, at least three more things. Eh. The monthly Indie Box sticker. Every month it's a different theme to look like the game. You have the soundtrack CD, an actual compact disc. Now again, this may be dating myself, but this is music on a form of removable media that you can then rip into iTunes and load onto your iPod. I'll have to dust off my USB CD drive just to be able to read it. Oh, I missed one thing in here. It's another sticker, Lovely Planet sticker. You almost always get one sticker for the indie box and one sticker for the game. There's that one. And finally, not just a Steam code, actually the game itself. They actually make a physical media version of the game. Now it looks kind of like a credit card, and you're wondering, well, what do I do with a credit card? 
Well, here's the thing. It's actually eh. Eh. USB stick. And there's the game right there. So you just plug that in and you got your game. So you can give the indie box to somebody who doesn't have the internet, doesn't have a Steam account, doesn't want to set one up, and they just plug that in and off they go to Lovely Planet, which is pretty neat. It's an all-in-one package, soundtrack, game, peripherals. I wish I'd signed up when they did Super Win the Game, which is a game I previously featured on Indie Cider, my podcast about indie games, because that game came with a Super Nintendo USB controller, which would have been sweet. I would have preferred that to a beach ball. But it's still pretty cool to have all this stuff. I'm liking this a lot more than Loot Crate. This is some stuff I'm not going to use. Like, I have no idea what to do with these. But just the fact that I'm guaranteed every month I'm going to get at least one thing I'm going to want to sit down and try and play with. I don't know if I'll like this game. Maybe I'll do a Let's Play of it. Maybe not. But at least I have something to play now, which is great. So thanks so much for watching YouTube channel Game It's my unboxing of Indie Box. That's the second of three monthly packages that I signed up for, so there's at least one more to go. Thanks for watching.